Gotta be honest here. I went into this movie with pretty low expectations, didn't like the trailer, James Wan isn't directing this, so that worried me. The last couple of Conjuring movies really haven't been my cup of tea. This movie's actually not quite bad. It's pretty good. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be discussing The Conjuring 3, or otherwise known as The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. God, I hate that title. It is so damn long. But we are here discussing this film. And of course, this follows the paranormal investigators, Ed and Lorraine Warren, who take on one of the most sensational cases of their career. After a cop stumbles upon a dazed and bloodied young man walking down the road, accused of murder, the suspect claims demonic possession as his defense, forcing the Warrens into a supernatural inquiry unlike anything they've ever seen before and for me personally this is something new to the franchise and I always dig that when a franchise you know three in or if you count of course all the spin-offs and nature of that if you count all those as well and then you take this by face value this is very much a new kind of turn on the entire Conjuring franchise and when it comes down to the first two films I love the first one. I adore it to pieces and I pretty much overall really like the second one as well. A little too long pretty freaking scary. Here's the thing, though, with this movie, is I don't find this movie scary at all. I'm going to pretty much sleep like a little baby tonight. But what I did really dig about this, and I think that's kind of where it's going to come down to, if you're a fan of, like, just the Conjuring films in general, and maybe some of the spinoffs, I think you're going to like this one overall. But if you're expecting, like, the heights and the scariness of the first two, they're not going to hit those levels for you. I didn't find this film, again, scary whatsoever. And again, scary is a different kind of thing. I kind of look at myself as a scary cat, though. And I just found this film to be entertaining, enjoyable, fun. And sometimes we kind of need those. This kind of reminded me of maybe a 90s horror film. And not in the cheesy type of way, but just a good way. It's just entertaining to sit with a loved one or sit with friends and laugh and smile and jump at times here and there and just see where the story goes. And the story, that's the best aspect of The Conjuring the Devil Made Me Do It. And of course, guys, if you guys are new here and you guys love talking movies or any sort of other geeky content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so we can keep talking movies over here on a daily basis. That is my favorite thing to do, and I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. Again, let's talk about the story because that's one of my biggest pros to this all because this very much is an investigative detective story of these two paranormal investigators trying to find proof that this guy was actually under demonic possession during the murder and that is again something very interesting now if you actually look into this case it is fascinating to see it's it really much is probably their biggest case ever and for me reading it going through it and kind of being really much into the warrants i dug the twists and turns they actually took with this and one of my things that i really dug about the story is again how it really much focuses in on them as detectives and trying to investigate and find where the first two films were very much about them trying to get the demon out finding this out and you do see some of that investigating stuff in there but this one really dives deeper into it all especially within the story here and the antagonist overall fascinating while not deep on a circular level it is a really fascinating villain that probably is when you think on face value the scariest thing about the movie and i say that because this antagonist without getting into spoilers could walk right past you and things like this, this is what makes the first two Conjuring films so good. It could just happen to you. And I think the way that this film comes about, you know, it's not your typical antagonist for a horror or demonic film like this, but it's one that really went up my spine and made me think like of past interactions that you may have had going into a house, going into a store, going to a location you don't know about. It's pretty damn good in that aspect, and I really dug that overall. Honest to God, the best thing about these main two Conjuring films and this one are the main performances from Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. They are phenomenal as the Warrens. Anytime they show up to be the Warrens, I will be excited to be there first day because their chemistry just works on such a high level. They truly are the Warrens here, and really much, in a sense, the heart and soul of this entire franchise. That's why when I go and look at these other spin-off movies, the thing that they are missing is these two as characters because they are so good and we love them. And when you give us a new horror film where you haven't built up any of these other characters, you're sitting there like, I don't care about any of them. 
These two truly are the heart and soul of this entire franchise, and if they keep making more Conjuring films with them two involved, I will be so interested. As long as they're at least good. And let's just talk about this, because I did mention it in my intro, I was nervous going to this. I did not like the trailer for this. I found the trailer to be completely boring. And I was very nervous that James Wan wasn't coming back, because James Wan is currently one of my favorite directors working right now. The director doing this is Michael Chavez, who did the film La Llorona, which I did not see. I didn't hear great things about it. My girlfriend told me bad things about it. Every other critic I talked to told me bad things about it. I just decided that's my one skip for the year. I don't need to see it. I don't care. And to this day, I still have not seen the movie. And in fact, with me in those lights, the thing with La Llorona is I just can't fathom it. And I just heard the direction was not great. But here again, I can give this. Now, while not on the surface of James Wan, Michael does a really good job in bringing atmosphere to it and again bringing out a story that again is unique the pacing moves pretty smoothly for the most part sometimes there's a couple repetitive beats that maybe i would have taken out overall but really much he fills that atmosphere the film is well shot and there's a couple demonic scenes in here where i was sitting there like ooh. That's creepy. And that's why you go to these movies, is to get the hairs on the back of your skin and the back of your neck all rising for you to sit there on the edge of your seat. And even though it is very obvious when a jump scare is going to happen, I always felt like James Wan really got around that in a really nice way and actually surprising me in those moments. I would have liked to have seen that a little bit more in here. I would have liked to see a little bit more clever scares, not just the obvious setups. But even then, I think depending on what you go into this film wanting you're going to get something good out of it, especially if you love Ed and Lorraine Warren. Really where I come about The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. This is a good movie. I think there are, again, pacing and repetitive issues kind of throughout the movie, and it overall just isn't a scary film, which when you go to a horror movie, that's exactly what you want. But at least I was still kind of on the edge of my seat, but very much invested in the story that was being told here. I never clamored to the seat or had to grab onto my girlfriend or even scream to the high heavens. Which I do when I play horror things or watch horror movies. Ah! From that example I just showed you, this is again a movie that is just enjoyable. It's a nice throwback to an old horror film that again, not too creepy, not even cheesy, just fun. And that's what I had fun with. I had fun with The Conjuring the Devil Made Me Do It. I love the Warrens, I love Vera Farmiga, and I love Patrick Wilson in these roles. And the direction for here is not too bad. So with all that said, I'm going to give The Conjuring the Devil Made Me Do It a B. Can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts on this one because I'm wondering if you guys are leaning on for me that like, this was a fun film, but I wish it was a little bit more scary. And that's kind of where I was leaning on. Glad it's not too scary because now I get to sleep good tonight. But I would have liked that scary aspect to come back around. And that's kind of just what I was wanting. Overall, guys, though, again, let's hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. What is your favorite Conjuring film? Who is your favorite demon that they have faced so far? And, guys, just in general, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as well as head on over to CM Tron Films on how to see films early. And, of course, there's a big thank you to you and a big thing to my Patreon supporters because without you, I would not be able to do this. So of course, with all that said, stay classy and have a great rest of your day.